And welcome back. My name is Mateo. How you doing? So we are talking today about the Monero circular economy again. Uh, it's been a little while since we've talked about this. Um, and I think it's important that we focus more on this increasingly because um, I was not aware how unaware people were of this initiative, uh, which had started this year by Monero Master, shouts out to you, back in May. And um, this is something I wanted to talk about and bring more awareness to because I think this initiative, the Circular Economy Pledge, is a way to incentivize people to accept Monero and to spend Monero and to help grow the small businesses out there that are trying to make in this world and really join our network. And ultimately what we're trying to do with Monero, right, is kind of create a parallel universe that comprises of people who are associating with each other and who are doing business with each other privately outside of the surveillance state, the corporate surveillance grid that is being set up all around us. And the better that we can build those relationships and the more that we can get economic activity going with private cryptocurrency, the better. And so um, people luckily are out there trying to come up with ideas to do this. And this is one that I want to talk about today because um, with my business, I've been accepting Monero for a while now. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a CPA and I have a bookkeeping and tax business. So um, I've had a couple clients who have come on board to pay me in Monero. And uh, I've had some of you reach out to do consultations and accounting and stuff like that. And I've been taking Monero, which is really great. But since I'm part of this circular economy pledge, which I'll talk about, I've been looking for places to spend my Monero. So what is the Monero Circular Economy Pledge? Um, it is a business that displays a Monero Circular Economy Pledge insignia on their website. And the listing is committed to building and strengthening the Monero self-sustaining economy. So um, basically what you do is you accept Monero and you use the Monero that you receive in business with other business owners and people who are accepting Monero. It's basically a way to make it so that you're not getting out of Monero when you receive it into cash, but you're keeping the flow going. As it said right here, they pledge not to use exchanges to convert their Monero into fiat currency, and they pledge to seek out and transact with other Monero circular economy pledge businesses where possible. And so uh, what I noticed was we only have a few businesses that are on here. Uh, we've got Appa, who I'll talk about here shortly. You've got me, Gratuitous Coffee. Of course, you've got Doug Stuff, Monerotopia, um, Manezon, Monermaster, MW Labs, and Dutch Cheese Boy. <laughs> um, I'm kind of curious about that. That sounds interesting. But, um, you know, there are not many businesses on here. So we ought to get more businesses on here. If you're an entrepreneur, if you've got your own business, I highly recommend you take the pledge and get this sticker on your website. Um, because the cool thing about this is, yeah, you can accept Monero. And we've talked about strategies to incentivize people to do that. You give discounts, you tell people you don't have to pay the credit card fees and all that stuff, right? And it's good for business. If you don't know, Monero has very, very little transaction costs. We're talking about less than a penny in most cases. Plus it's private, therefore it's fungible. And so you don't have to worry about any kind of AML um, problems where you go to deposit your Monero on an exchange and because you know, five hops down, somebody who you're transacting with was some kind of like Russian cartelista fella who is like, uh, you know, running guns to the military or whatever. Like, you know, you um, are not going to be tied in with that or accused of anything or considered high risk by exchanges. And therefore, it's pretty much like physical cash except digital. Um, so it's like safe to use in that sense. But, um, you know, this initiative right here encourages people to seek out other businesses that accept this because once you take the pledge you're in and you're going to try to figure out where to spend this stuff so i've got a cybersecurity guy who has helped me with my cybersecurity situation because i'm not a tech guy as you guys know um uh, yeah I, I you all know that i'm not going to go into my own shortcomings with that but he has helped me level up 
And um, he's done that in regards to my tax business as well as my like computer information security situation. So he's helped me a lot. And so I'm going to pay him in Monero. Um, and he does have a business. I'm not sure if he's ready for me to talk about the business with anybody because it's relatively new. He just set up his LLC. But he's going to kick butt because he knows a lot about this stuff. Um, but I'm going to pay him in Monero because it's a way for me to get rid of my Monero. And I, I hope he doesn't watch this. He is a fan of the channel. <laughs> Shouts out to you, Andrew. But, um, you know, I'm not trying to dump it on him. I'm just trying to get the flow going. And hopefully he'll find somebody to transact Monero with. And, you know, the train will keep on rolling. But um, when I was looking for people to do business with and to get stuff with, um, I found these people, Appa. And I had made a post on my Twitter about this, and apparently a, a lot of you have eaten these bars. And you said they're really good, which is sick, because I ordered some. And they are part of the MCEP initiative. So if they accept Monero and they take Monero, then they're going to find somebody else to spend the Monero on, which is really cool. Makes you feel good. And, uh, you know, go check these out because they look really good. They're like all natural meat bars. Now, I've never heard of a meat bar before. Um, that's a totally new concept to me. When I think of power bars or uh, whatever, I think of, uh, you know, cliff bars and uh, Kirk bars or whatever those things are called. But um, I never thought of a meat bar. And that's a totally new concept to me. But apparently uh, these things are made with beef, butter, tallow and some honey. So they kind of have some sweetness to them. Uh, it's meat. So it's got that protein and. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking into the, uh, shoot, what's it called? The carnivore diet. Now I'm Orthodox, so I can't totally do that because we fast all the time, but, uh, it does look like it's like a miracle diet for some people. People get on the carnivore diet and their inflammation goes away. Uh, it's curing cancer all over the place. Apparently people are dropping weight, like, like it's nobody's business. And so like, People are having a lot of really good, fortunate, uh, you know, luck with these carnivore diets. And that's what these people serendipitously support because I have been reading about the carnivore diet and uh, I've been very curious about it. And I forgot where on their page they had the books, but they've got books about it. They've got T-shirts about it. Apparently they're big on the carnivore diet, which is based. But um yeah, so you got like different flavors. You got blueberry almond, you got cranberry pecan, you got some sweet bars here. And I'm excited to try them out. Most of you said that they're really good. So uh, yeah, go check them out. They take Monero. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is like, I wouldn't have figured out about these people if I wasn't obligated to spend my Monero and look for people who accept it. And I think the goal is for us people in the Monero circular economy to be able to sustain off the Monero that we make so that we can be as off grid as possible. Now that's not going to be very possible for me ultimately because I'm an accountant, I'm licensed by the state and you know, I do a lot of work which involves compliance. So it's very unlikely that that'll be my situation unless like everything goes dark, the Institute price controls and you have like rationing and shortages and stuff, in which case I just go rogue and, you know, buy cheeseburgers off the dark web. You know, and that's a very distinct possibility as we talked about. But um, in regards to just me living in the society right now and wanting to use the Monero that I earn just for the sake of trying to grow the parallel economy, like it is really good that businesses like these are out here. And if you are a business, if you're an entrepreneur, get out here so I can pay you my Monero because I want to do business with you guys rather than uh, stupid woke ass corporations who want to destroy the world. You know, that'd be ideal, right? Um, or, or Bitcoin bros or people who accept transparent cryptos who could be feds or whatever. Like I'd rather just transact my private crypto with, uh, other like-minded people who are cool as most of us would. So, um, that's all I've got to say in this video. Um, let's all get involved. Okay. Um, learn a skill, grow a business. That's another thing that's cool about this. It encourages entrepreneurship. And there have been these posts on Twitter uh, you know, putting down Monero because it's being kicked off exchanges and people are saying, well, that makes it hard to get. And, you know, it messes with the anonymity set or whatever. Um, not quite the case, especially with full chain membership proofs coming. But, um, you know, if you really want to get it, 
and it's hard for you to get, the best way to get it is to earn it and to grow your own business and to accept it for payment, give discounts for people who pay in it. Um, that's what I do. And it's not like everybody's knocking down my door trying to pay me a Monero because you do have a lot of people out there who are just not going to go through those hoops to get it. That's a fair point. But at the same time, um, it makes you feel a lot better when you earn it because you don't have to jump through those hoops yourself. And, um, uh, I had another point, but I forgot it. But anyways, that's like the best way to get it. Cause you're actually growing the use case of it. And that's why Monero's value is so stable is because it has that use case and people are actively out there using it. Now, evidently, uh, people who are in, I guess you could call the clear net market are not using it as much as they use it in the dark net market. Um, but nevertheless, because so many people are using it, it's got that inelastic demand. That's why it's been you know, at $150, $160 for like the last three years is because you know it's not exposed to the speculative sell-offs that you see in the major in, in the main market with these cryptos that are on exchanges that you know get exposed to people's fud and panic during downturns but um it, it's actually used and it's actually circulated in accordance with natural supply and demand metrics so um join the parallel economy it's a cool thing to be a part of many smart people many great people out there and uh, the quality of the service and goods that you're going to get is probably better than what you're going to get at a major corporation. And uh, you're going to be supporting everyday people out there who want to make a better life for everybody. So that's what I've got to say. Uh, anything else I want to add? I don't think so. So short video for you guys today. A little bit of a plea to get out there and get going and do something productive with this stuff. Um Leave comments, like the vid, subscribe, and all that stuff. My name is Mateo. I will see you again soon. God bless.